So first of all, what you need to do is you just need to open your uh, control panel. So just uh, search for control panel in your search box and then just uh, click on control panel here. And once the control panel window opens, you just need to click on uh, programs option here and then click on programs and features. And once this uh, window opens, you just need to click on turn windows feature on or off. Okay, so just click on turn windows feature on or off. This window you can also uh, see when you type here turn windows feature on or off directly. Okay, so I'm going to just write turn windows feature on or off and when you click on this uh, result you will see similar kind of window. So you can either just type turn windows feature on or off or you can go uh, to this uh, window by a uh, control panel, right? So just scroll down on this uh, window and then click on this option which says Windows subsystem for Linux, okay? So just check this checkbox and then click on OK. And once you click on OK, it's going to search for uh, the tools and it's going to apply all the changes. And once everything is done, it says Windows completed the requested changes and then we need to reboot our system. So you can just click on restart now option or you can manually restart your Windows operating system. I'm going to just uh, say restart now, which is going to restart my Windows operating system. So once your Windows 10 operating system restarts, what you need to do is you can uh, just uh, go to your uh, search bar and search for CMD and then choose uh, this result which says command prompt. And then here you can just write bash and then press enter, which is going to give you this kind of output. So this means that uh, Windows subsystem for Linux has no installed distribution. And you can uh, just uh, search for uh, this using the Windows stores. So what you can do is you can just uh, copy this URL from here and then open this URL in your uh, browser. So this is one way of doing it. But if you don't want to do this, you can do this by just going to the Microsoft store also. So just click on Windows icon here and then just choose Microsoft store here. And once the Microsoft Store opens, you just need to search for, let's say, whatever uh, Linux system you want to search here. You can just write uh, Linux here and then search for uh, Linux systems. You can see so many uh, Linux operating systems uh, available here. What I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose the uh, Ubuntu option here. You can also choose, let's say, Kali Linux or Ubuntu 18.4 LTS version or SUSE Linux, Debian and many other Linux operating system. So I'm going to choose Ubuntu here. And then you can just click on get. And then if you have your Microsoft account, you can just sign in with your Microsoft account or you can just say no thanks. And then you will see the download and install of this Ubuntu will start on our Windows operating system. So just wait for this process to complete this download and install of uh, this Ubuntu on our Windows operating system. So I will just fast forward this process of download and install of Ubuntu. So now I can see uh, that this product is installed. So I can launch this Ubuntu by just clicking this button. But if accidentally, if you close this uh, window, you can also open Ubuntu by just clicking on your uh, Windows icon and you will be able to see uh, Ubuntu here in recently added items. So I'm going to just uh, click on Ubuntu here and it's going to uh, start this uh, Ubuntu uh, terminal. This is not the Windows 10 command prompt, it's uh, Ubuntu terminal, okay? So this is the Windows command prompt, which I'm going to close. And this is the Ubuntu terminal. Now, if you want to just increase the font size, uh, you can just uh, click on this Ubuntu icon here and then click on properties. And let's choose uh, 20 here or 24 as the font size. So you can see uh, this installation process. 
So this is one time installation process which is going to take place uh, when you start your Ubuntu app on your Windows 10 operating system for the first time. So I will wait for this installation and after some time when you press enter you will see uh, this kind of uh, prompt which says enter new Unix username. So here you can give any uh, username to your new Unix uh, system. I'm going to give uh, here code bind as the username for example and then you just need to give any password to your Unix operating system. So this password and username should not be uh, the Windows username and password. This can be any username and password which you want to give here. So I'm going to give a password here and repeat the password and then press enter and it says password updated successfully. So now I can see uh, this kind of command prompt and here I'm going to just uh, do ls uh, hyphen al and I can see uh, this kind of output here. So all these uh, bash underscore logout file is there, bash rc is there. Uh, these are the files which you commonly see in your Debian or Ubuntu operating system. Let's give a pwd command which is current working directory command and you can see it gives us home forward slash your username. So whatever username you have given here uh, will be uh, printed here after home. So now you might be wondering how will I navigate to my C drive or E drive in my Windows operating system using this command prompt on Ubuntu. So uh, the C drive or other drives are mounted on your Ubuntu operating system. So here you can uh, just write ls and then uh, forward slash m and t for mount and then forward slash and press enter and you will see all the drives which are present on your Windows operating system. So right now I can see uh, C drive and F drive which are printed here which is exactly the same which I have on my Windows operating system. So when I go to this PC I have C drive and F drive here and these are uh, the drive names which are printed here. Now if I want to go to the C drive then I can uh, simply write cd command for that. So I can just write cd forward slash m and t forward slash c. So I want to go into my C directory so I will just write c here and now I can see uh, that I am in my C uh, directory which is windows C directory. So let me clear this uh, terminal and we are going to uh, move forward. So now I'm going to once again write ls hyphen al and you will see all the files and folders which are present in my C directory. So when I go to my C directory, you can see ffmpeg, program files, program files x86, users, windows, all the same files uh, and folders I will see here. So let's say I want to go to my desktop, I will just uh, go to here, so cd and then write users and then press enter and once again I will do ls-al and then I will go to uh, the username. So, so my windows username is cb, so I will just uh, cd to the cb uh, folder, so cb and then I will once again do ls-al here and I will see all the files and folders which are present in my uh, user directory. So here I want to navigate to the desktop. So I will uh, once again clear the terminals and then I will just uh, cd to my desktop directory and here let's uh, create some file using the unix command. Okay, so I'm going to just write touch here and let me show you my desktop also at the same time. So I'm going to just give touch command on my Ubuntu terminal and then uh, name of my file anything for example test.txt file and then press enter and once I do that you can see this test.txt file is created. 
then uh, I can also uh, write for example nano which is the default terminal on your Ubuntu operating system and then uh, text.txt which is going to open this file in the nano terminal and then I'm going to just write test uh, and let me move this little bit up so you can see all these uh, things and then I'm going to just press uh, control X here and then I'm going to just type Y here and then press enter which will uh, get me out of this nano terminal and then I'm going to just uh, print the content inside this test.txt file using cat command so cat test.txt and you can see it prints whatever I have written inside my test.txt file using the nano terminal. Also, you can open your bash terminal now using the windows command prompt. So you can uh, just uh, search for cmd here and then uh, click on the command prompt here. And once your command prompt opens, you just need to write bash here and then press enter, which is going to give you the same command prompt as you see in the Ubuntu uh, terminal. Okay, so from here also you can uh, give your uh, Ubuntu bash commands and work with the Linux command using your Windows command prompt. So this is how you can uh, run your Linux or bash command on your Windows 10 operating system using the built-in Windows subsystem for Linux. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.